Okay, let's see. Full reputation in Shazin faction in Zia. The rewards include fighting lizard men, which is probably the best thing about this place. It's a decent money making method for lower levels. It's nothing much for high. Don't expect to get anything good at all. There is one drop that lizard men drop that's untradeable and it allows you to teleport in three places around the Zia, which uh, I think currently it's the only teleport in here. So that's pretty awesome. Tackle organized crime, nothing good from here. After 100% you can win tier 5 Shazin armor, which I have right now. I already collected it and it has the stats of of full black. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even joking. That's the stats of these. I mean, the armor is very easily obtainable. We're going to get into that, but yeah, it seems like it's not worth it. It seems like this is the shittiest faction to train on. If you still want to do it, then let's go. This is where you arrive. You have zero reputation. You walk all the way to this building. Then you take medkits from this building and you heal soldiers in any of these buildings. You can also go upstairs and it's very advisable if you go into a world that's empty because all of these soldiers will be injured. Because if somebody heals them, you cannot heal the same one. I think you can heal the same one if it's in the same game tick. But if somebody recently healed it, you, you just cannot do it. It's very annoying when a lot of people are doing the same thing. And this is how you get to 5% reputation. After you get 5% reputation, you walk to fight lizard men. This is the ladder. And I suggest you to bring a cannon if you don't mind about losing money. In total, you're going to be using around 2,000 cannonballs, depending how many people are fighting them. And there are multi and not multi spots, so it's both for good sides if you don't want any cannon action going on. And this is where you get 100% reputation. You don't need to do anything else if you don't want to. It's also advisable to kill lizard men, even if you want to do other activities in the cities because a lizard men can drop an item, an amulet, which will allow you to teleport to three different places around Zia. And that's like the only way to teleport to Zia. It's pretty good. It's untradeable though, so you have to get it by yourself. Lizard men can be a decent money, I guess. They drop teeth, which you can use them to charge the amulet if you ever get it. I think that's the only function so far. Maybe there's going to be more in the future. They also drop some cloth, which probably is used for other factions. So, but you can buy it from GE and it's very cheap at the moment. It's like 1000 gold or something. And after you get 100%, if you want to, you can get the tier five Shazin armor. You just talk to these guys. Just keep in mind that you need to get tier one first before you get tier 2, you cannot just go straight for tier 5. So there's going to be a lot of inventory spaces occupied by shit items. That's one thing I did not like. I wish that they made it so maybe the parts get destroyed or something if you obtain a better one. But then people with lower defense may complain about this. I don't know. Even though you can refight the same ones, if you like uh, tier 2, let's say, you can just keep fighting that. And you're just going to be getting tier 2. Uh, but yeah, the armor is not worth it at all. It's like full black at maximum tier. Tomorrow, I will upload probably three videos covering all reputations or all factions rather. And I may throw in a couple 10 hour loot videos because there are some dragons to kill, I think. Uh, obviously, that's not happening tomorrow, but in a few days. So... Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you tomorrow or maybe even today. Bye.